Hey, why are some of you not facing me? Am I the ugly? Come on, face me this way. I'm just joking. Alright. Hello guys. Good afternoon. How is everyone today? Alright, so first I would like to welcome you on board the Nautilus. My name is Brandon and I'll be your throw guide for today. Hi Brandon. Hi. <laughs> and some of them will burn you. And some of them are fire coils. And they're nice and healthy all year round guys. We never had any signs of bleach coral. That's when corals turn fully white when you're dying and they lose all their algae and the color of the corals. So it's very healthy. If you see any if you see any signs of small blue fish swimming around these corals, that's a sign of healthy coral. They're called blue frogs. There they are on the left. There's tiny blue fishes. They love healthy coral. Look out for porcupine puffer fish as well. These are the guys that puffed up like a balloon whenever they feel threatened. They can puff up to twice their size by sucking. Yeah, you're in the Pacific Ocean, not the Caribbean Sea. Of all places, right? Uh, yeah. Look out for turtles as well. Sea turtles. Grand Cayman has a high density of turtles because it was named Las Tortugas by Christopher Columbus that discovered who discovered the Cayman Islands in May 10, 1503. Right, so the, the shipwreck is on the right side now, guys. As I said, you guys will see it on the right side. <coughs> it's called the Wreck of the Galley, right there. Mm -hmm. Take your pictures, switch the flashes off. Look out for stingrays on the sun. Because you're going to be crossing a sun flat. Sun flats are really good places to find stingrays. Grand Cayman is very well known for his stingrays. As we have got Stingray City on the other side of the island. At Stingray City, we feed them squid every day and then you can hug them. And yeah, they're very friendly, friendly stingrays. Stingrays like to bury themselves in the sand, so it's a very good place to spot them. And the female stingray is bigger than the male stingray. So at Stingray City, if you kiss a female stingray, that's seven years good luck. If you kiss a male stingray, that's 14 years good luck. And also, did you know stingrays can give birth to live young and not eggs, as most people prefer in our corals? You will see two more on the left. Corals spawn twice a year on that steel cage, just like when flowers bloom. So that's responsible for growing our corals. It's so another one on the right here. You will see two more on the left side. What's a fish? What's a huge fish? That's a male part fish on the right side, a beautiful blue fish on the right. Very important fish. I'm going to be telling you a fact about the part fish shortly. That's a dory. So, as they built the Burger King in 1994, the people didn't like burgers, so they throw their burgers at the end of the day at the reef. No, it's not allowed anymore because cheeseburger rain is our national park. So look out for parfish, barracudas, torpins, a cheeseburger reef. Lots of corals, lots of nice fishes. Stop, I'm going to help him put his gear on. He's going to jump into the water and I'll be back with you guys shortly. <laughs> That's a male part fish on the right side as well. With the yellow tail, two, ma two males. Male over here. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> wow. They know it's feeding time. <laughs> He is 
So is everybody swimming today? Yes. Most of you guys? Alright, so while he's doing the fish feed, I'd like to explain to you guys. You want to stay on the sides of the submarine. Swim around to the sides and around the front. Do not go to the back of the submarine. That's where the ships are. Do not, do not go straight to your ships. Even if you have your ID, they won't take you back on, okay? So where, where the back is, there's just sand. There's nothing... Hmm. 